Hallelujah, sir. I know I sent you the dream, so I'm going to take it again so I can give every detail. So I had a dream this morning, and it's um, Sunday, uh, the 11th, today is the 11th <clears throat> of December 2016. <clears throat> and I was sleeping this morning, early this morning. Um, it's now 11.22 a.m. So the dream probably came a few minutes ago. Um, in my dream, I saw that I was working with two, um, two girls. It was like they were my daughter in the dream. And then we ran into a lady by the name Angela. Um, she's a white woman. She's been preaching the word of salvation. And so when I saw this woman now, she was wearing trousers, she was smoking. She even gave me a message to go and tell my mother-in-law that my mother-in-law needs to stop wearing trousers and needs to stop wearing shorts. And then I now told the lady, I said, ah, you that you've been preaching the message of salvation, how come you are dressed? How come you are dressed like this? And she said, all the message she has been preaching is a lie. And I said, ah. There is still God. So I was telling my children, I said, children, don't listen to what she's saying. Let us focus on God. All of a sudden, I saw my children wearing um, leggings. And so I got angry and I told my children, don't be wearing these things. So when we get home, go and put on your skirt. In fact, if you don't have skirt, I'm going to go buy the skirt for you. As my children and I were going, they were going back home, we're trying to get to our house. There was chaos everywhere people people like there was people everywhere you won't even have a place to to put your feet people were trying to escape people were trying to run away people were, i don't know where people were going people would get in the elevator to get to their houses or to get to where they are going and the elevator will shut down. People will go to their car. The cars were not working. I saw a soldier. Like once people enter the elevator, I don't know what the soldier man did. He was in a military uniform. But elevator shut down. And then all of a sudden, I saw a man coming. I saw a man. He started selecting the juicy people. And he now said to me, my daughter, come, you have been chosen. After the man chose everybody, I... The people, the total people that he had chosen he was seven people, seven, seven people, seven. And I said, ah, sir, my family, please help me bring my family. He said, no, they can't, your family cannot come because their names were not written. And I also, uh, it, there was like a table where their names were called. There was a table, and then I now saw like a rabbi, or you know how the Catholic priest, they dressed or the rabbi, the way they would dress and wear this uh, big clothes and the hat or something. And the man was pleading, saying that, ah, I have been doing this, I have been doing this, I have been doing, I'm proving to you, I need to be a part of the seven people. And then the man that was selected, the people said, no, you have not been chosen. You have not been chosen. It was seven people, all of them men. I was the only female. I was like, ah, oh God, what have I done to have this grace and mercy? Jesus is coming soon. If you are in America, I want to urge you, seek the Lord while he may be found. A time is coming to, a time is coming in this country. Ah, where people will wish they had known Please, I am begging you in the name of God. I beg you, my mothers, my brothers, my sisters, my husbands. I am begging you, my children. Please, I am begging you, men, women of God. If you are a pastor, please preach truth to your church. Preach tr truth to the ships that God has entrusted in your care. Hell is real. Heaven is real. Because as I saw in this dream, ah, this is not the, this is not the only revelation I've had, but this one was fierce and intense. People were actually being chosen. Where will you stand? Where will I stand? Let us fear God. Judgment is here. Stop chasing after money that you will not need, you will not take with you. Stop pleasing your boss. If your job is making it hard for you to worship Christ, quit. It will not take you to heaven. Quit. This is the time for us to seek the Lord at all costs. Let us search and find him. No matter the cost, if it will cost you your job, even in your, in your life in the process, because what awaits us in heaven ah, cannot be compared to this filthy earth. Oh, I am begging you. 
Seek the Lord while he may be found. Jesus is coming soon. He says, the second coming is there. Seven people. How many people do we even have in America? How many? Over what? 300 million or 200 million? Oh, seven people. Seven. May the Lord have mercy on us. This is the time, children of God, for us to go out there and to preach the gospel. Oh. God have mercy. May the Lord have mercy on us. Oh, may He have mercy. May His mercy, like Apostle Emmanuel Biadale always say, mercy and grace. May